We have 300,000 people who haven't got an illness or a sickness or a disability, but have been out of work for more than a year. And we have a million vacancies. We have companies that desperately need their help to expand. And we're saying we need you to engage seriously and properly with the process of getting a job because that's what the taxpayers who are funding your benefits would expect to see. You're also announcing today that you're, you're tightening up the benefits rules because you say there are 100,000 people leaving work every year for what you're calling a life on benefits. We still have 300,000 people who've been unemployed for more than a year despite not having a disability or an illness. And we think it's fair, given that we've got a million vacancies in the economy, that they should engage properly. The idea that this government is even considering cutting benefits is just horrific. Six in ten people on universal credit can't afford to eat properly now. Why isn't this being pointed out? And let's take a look at where this is really coming from. How do we get inflation down? We increase the supply of things, right? That's reasonably easy for us to grasp. Where do we have inflation? We have it in our labour market, which is why we need to get much tougher on welfare. What's the number one challenge other than energy costs? It's getting access to workers and getting people to actually work. And I strongly believe that part of the answer to this problem is being much tougher on our welfare system. I'll tell you this, right now, there are more people claiming unemployment benefit than there are job vacancies in the economy. I mean, just think about that for a second. And that's happening under a Conservative government. That's clearly not right. Something's gone wrong. And if there are hours to do, if there's a job going, people should have to take the job, as opposed to just being able to stay on benefits. And that's the change that I want to bring. The Prime Minister is actually shamelessly blaming benefit claimants for high inflation labour shortages. Labour shortages which, in large part, have been created by the Brexit deal he helped to champion. We have got people queuing up to come to this country to pick crops that are rotting in fields, to work in warehouses that otherwise wouldn't be operable, um, and we're not letting them in. Sunak is jumping on the Home Secretary's equally shameless bandwagon. Um, there are too many people in this country who are of working age, who are of good health, and who are choosing to rely on benefits, on taxpayers' money, on your money, my money, um, to, to get by. And I don't think there's enough rigour. Universal credit's been a brilliant thing um, in stamping out the culture of dependency. But there's further we can go. There's more we can do. I was actually quite clear in my, um, uh, in my leadership campaign that I wanted to cut welfare spending. I think we have far too many people in this country who are fit to work, who are able to work, and should be working. The majority of people claiming benefits are either in work or seeking work. Many are going without food every day so they can feed their kids. And let's not forget that 40% of people on universal credit are actually in work. What the Prime Minister doesn't want to talk about is that the end of free movement means hundreds of thousands of fewer workers in the UK. And it's that which has played a significant role in high inflation labour shortages. A fact which appears now to be accepted by a number of senior members of the government who acknowledge that labour shortages, in part a consequence of the ending of free movement after Brexit, is a key factor in the UK faring so badly when compared to the US and the Eurozone. The UK is an outlier in continental Europe. In the United States, inflation is much lower. Interest rates are much lower. Why are we such an outlier? So we have a combination of very low uh, unemployment, lower than um, the, the, the EU average in, in most European countries, which means it gives you a tight labour market. Um, and we have very low unemployment, uh, a tight labour market. But we're an outlier, aren't we? I mean, the, the war in Ukraine has, has affected everybody. Why is Britain the outlier? We also have the tight labour market that the, the US has, but the, that Europe doesn't have. So let's not allow this government to use the poorest and the most vulnerable members of our society as scapegoats for the economic catastrophe which the government itself has unleashed on the country.